Alright, let's start. Good morning guys, I hope you all are well and welcome to the lesson for today. For our grade sevens, I want to say keep safe, wear your mask because we know what's going on around. So I want us to start with Unit 7D, um, Culture Corner, and we're talking about traditional music instruments. For example, the bagpipes and the country that we are specifically referring to is Scotland, as you guys can see. I first want to draw your attention to the picture and I want to show you um, the traditional Scottish outfit. Obviously in Vietnam your traditional outfit is the Audi, uh, like most of you always tell me, but different cultures has different um, traditional outfits and stuff. Um, let's just look at the first picture. We see a guy that seems to be blowing something. All right, now that is known as a bagpipe, and we will get into that more. Alright, we can move on. Some interesting music that we've heard now at the moment. Um, number one, the context of today's lesson, we're talking about music from Scotland. Uh, listen to the music extract, which country does it come from? Obviously it's Scotland and not Spain or Italy. Uh, what musical instrument can you hear? I think all of us know by now that I can hear bagpipes. So what is this bagpipe that we all are talking about? We'll go into more detail and discuss it in a little bit more detail as we go on. Alright, so which of the following sentences are true about bagpipes and besides in peers? So before we can actually go into this, we need to go through the reading phase first before we can answer this question. So I will let you look at all of these uh, sentences first discuss it amongst yourselves and then we can go on a little bit further right so before we can answer true and for false the bagpipe is a very old instrument the romans were playing bagpipes as early as the first century a.d. From Rome, it traveled through Europe and reached Scotland. The bagpipe is a wind instrument usually made from sheepskin. It has four parts, a pipe called a chanter with finger holes, a bag that fills up with air, a blowpipe that the player blows through, and up to six tubes called drones coming out of the bag. Bagpipes are loud and take a lot of skill to play. In the past, Scottish armies played them in battles to scare the enemy. Today, the army still uses them. You can also hear them at Scottish festivals and celebrations. a little bit deeper. Alright, the bagpipe which you've all heard about is an old instrument. First the Romans used it to play bagpipes as early as the first century AD, which takes us back a little bit longer than what we are used to. From Rome it traveled through Europe and with Scotland. The bagpipe is a wind instrument, usually made from sheepskin. It has four parts and as you can see the guy that's blowing it has a chanter with the finger holes, which is this part over here, a bag that fills up with air. Obviously, because it is a wind instrument, we need to blow into it. And up to six tubes called drones. Now, these are your drones, as you can see, um, lining up from the bagpipe. And bagpipes are loud and take a lot of skill to play. 
So this is a musical instrument that's not that easy to play. So you need to be very skilled in playing it, almost similar like playing the piano or the guitar. Um, in the past, Scottish armies played them in battles to scare the enemy. Now, this was just a tactic that the Scottish used to scare away the enemy, and it was nothing other than that. Today, the army still uses them, but not for the purposes of war, but only for the purposes to play them as a reminder, and you can also hear them at Scottish festivals and at celebrations. All right, so this is where we can actually do the Q&A, the questions and answers that we were talking about. So let's go through the questions and answers. The Romans used bagpipes before the Scottish, and that is true, because if you look here, the Romans were playing bagpipes as early as the first century AD. So therefore, we can say that this is true. All right, it is a wind instrument. It is indeed a wind instrument because you need to blow into it and blow the air into it. It's usually made out of sheep skin. Right, so that's true. They use plastic to make it, and that is false because sheep skin were used to make the bagpipe. It has five parts, which is not true because, as we can see, it has four parts the chanter with finger holes, which is this part over here, fills up with air. We have a bag over here. We have a blow pipe that the blower actually blows through and something called drones with the six parts that fits along with it. Alright, so it has five parts which is not true. Bagpipes are easy to play, that is false and simply because you need a lot of skill to play the bagpipe as you can see in the passage. Right, and the Scottish use them in battles which is true, but nowadays they don't use them to uh, in battle, they only use them in festivals, but they used to use them in battle to scare away the enemy. Alright, and as you can see, all of my answers are true because we've just gone through each and every question. Okay, moving on. Right, so read the text again and match the numbers in the pictures with the words in bold in the text. Right, so number one, we have the chanter. The bagpipe is a wind instrument usually made from sheepskin. So number one, which is this part over here, and here we can see, if we take one of the answers, we see that it fits perfectly. So this is what we call the chant, the drones. And it has four drones coming up and then secondly the part that he blows right which is the blowpipe and then number three the part that we have here that's the bag that we have and then obviously we need to blow into the bag to make the sound and the last part which is number four the one where the finger holes are this looks similar like the flute and I don't know if you guys are familiar with playing the flute, so it has a similar um, instrument, so you guys can see how the Scottish actually play the, the, the bagpipe. Alright, moving on. Explain the underlined words or phrases in bold. Now, some of these words and phrases are very sim simple for you to understand, but I'll go through each and every one of them because I want to draw all your attention to some of the words. Alright, from Rome it traveled to Europe and reached Scotland, which means that it traveled through all the way from Europe and at the end of the day, reach is another word for travel and it's that destination which were inevitably Scotland. Right, the bagpipe is a wind instrument, which obviously means you need to blow into it, not like the piano or the guitar, where you just play by your finger and by skill. Right, sheepskin, that is what the bagpipe is made out of, not of plastic or paper or anything else. But they use sheepskin to form it, it plays better and it has better mobility on the fingers as well. Alright, so the player blows, you guys are familiar with blow, bagpipes are loud as you can hear and we'll play a video clip later on so that you can hear the effect of bagpipes 
and how loud they sound. All right, then you need to have a lot of skill to play. Like any other musical instrument, it takes time and skill. And obviously, if you are not into playing an instrument and you don't like it, you'll take a little bit longer to get accustomed to playing these instruments. But if you have a passion, for example, for piano or learning something, you'll find it very easy to learn something to play. All right, the Amish used to play them in battles, number three, battles. Now, nowadays we do not have wars and stuff going on, except if you are in Af Afghanistan, but in the olden days, these people used to fight and they used the backpack as a means of a scare mechanism to scare off the enemies, right? To scare, and the last one, the army. Um, you guys are familiar with that concept of the army that goes to war and the, when the one country fights against the next country so you guys are quite familiar with that okay moving on right jot down the notes under the headings number one we have the history of the bagpipe it first originated in Rome in the first century AD traveled to Europe and eventually ended up in Scotland so the type of the musical instrument that we are talking about is this one here and it's a wind instrument that we use the material that we use is sheepskin and the parts well it has four parts it has a chanter this is the part with the holes it has the bag the blowpipe and the drones as well and the uses for it in the past to scare the enemy still used today by the army but scottish festivals and celebrations are the main reason why they use bagpipes for today all right and we can move on lastly use your notes to talk about bagpipes now obviously you cannot talk about these um, because we're not in a classroom environment but what you can do is if you want to practice your skill and your communication and speaking skill what you can do is you can practice it with your friends via Skype and talk about the subject a little bit more in detail all right lastly find the verbs in the text which are the in the simple past or the past progressive now when we talk about the simple past for example i'll give you a clue from rome it traveled all right that is um the word that is used in its simple past using ed now when we talk about the past progressive we're talking about something that happened in the past but we can identify the past progressive or the past continuous by using I and G at the end. For example, playing, right? The Romans were playing. This is an example of the past progressive using I and G. And the verb, which is the action that they were using, is play. So simple past, we can use ED, for example, or reached. Now we don't, sometimes I hear some of the students make the mistake of reading the word with the ED. For example, they would say travel lit. Okay, now this is the silent ED, so we say traveled and not travel lit. Right, same as for reached, we say reach and not reach it. Now, if we find the verbs, we see there's only one simple um, past progressive, which is work playing, and then the rest of them are in the simple past. So the verbs that we can look at is play, travel, reach, and play as well. Okay, the first play, were playing, is in the past progressive because it's an action that keeps on continuing. And then the second one is an action which already happened in the past. Alright, and then let's move on. Uh, before we go on, I promised you that we will play a short video. And the bagpipes. Let's just go through the video quickly. Do you play a musical instrument? Would you like to learn a new one? How about the bagpipes? This unusual instrument is famous and usually people think it's a Scottish instrument. Let's have a look at the history of this strange sounding instrument. The bagpipe is a very old instrument. 
the Romans were playing the bagpipes in the first century AD. From there it traveled through European countries until it reached Scotland. The bagpipes are a wind instrument usually made from sheepskin. They have got four parts, a pipe called a chanter with finger holes, a bag that fills with air, a blowpipe that the player blows air through, also up to six tubes called drones coming out of the bag. Bagpipes are loud and take a lot of skill to play. In the past, Scottish armies played them in battles to scare their enemies. Today, the army still uses them. You can also hear them at Scottish festivals and celebrations. Lots of rock bands have songs featuring bagpipes too. Would you like to try the bagpipes? What instrument would you prefer to play? Interesting article that we went through. Um, here's some of the questions that I would like to go through uh, concerning the bagpipes, and we can say true or false. The first people to use bagpipes were the Scottish or the Romans. Now, if you have read the passage, you will be quite familiar with the fact that the Romans were the first people to use the bagpipe, and it traveled and reached all the way to the to Scotland. All right, the bagpipes have four of these holes or parts. As we know that it has four parts, which is the chanter, the blowpipe, and so on, and the drones. To play the bagpipes, you put your fingers in the drones or chanter, and the correct answer is A. It's actually the chanter because the drones are the part that gives off the sound. And the chanter is actually the part, like, if you play the piano, these are your keys, and the chanter is more like your keys that you play to make the specific sound. Right, the bagpipes never have more than what, four drones or six drones? As you can see, it has never had four than six drones. It has four drones currently, but it never has more than six drones. Right, air going through the blowpipe enters what, a bag or the six tubes? And as we can see, it is the bag. And then Scottish armies played the bagpipes. Why? To help them fight in battles. Obviously, in Today's day and age, they use the bagpipes um, at music festivals and not for the purposes of war at all. Alright, and that's the end of the lesson and we will go through the workbook now so that we can answer them. Just a reminder that we will be giving you the answers at the end, but I encourage you to do it beforehand to test your knowledge and to see if you can do it on your own before we actually go through and do it on and I show you the answers at the end. So I will be going through it with you and I will help you with the answers as well but at the end I will display all of the answers so that you can have a look and see. Alright, we can go through the workbook now. Alright, getting back, Unit 10D, let's go through the workbook together. Like I've explained it, we will give you the answers at the end, but I would really appreciate it if you go through it with me first to test your knowledge on the topic before we go deeper. Alright, we have some true and false questions. Um, here we have a passage of a girl playing something, and we are not quite sure at this moment what she's playing, but let's go through the article and then we can answer some of the questions. Right, there's nothing normal about this bunch of musicians. The Vienna Vegetable Orchestra uses vegetables as musical instruments. Founded in 1998, the group includes 13 people, 11 musicians, one sound specialist and a cook. This one-of-a-kind group has thousands of fans. In fact, it is going to tour Europe and Asia again soon. After their big sellout concert, we're sure any upcoming shows will be a huge success. Before each gig, the group needs to turn 90 pounds of fresh vegetables into instruments. Now, this is something very interesting to see. 
um, carrots are carved to become flutes and cucumbers and peppers are joined to become a new wind instrument, the cumberphone, the cucumberphone. The music they produce is a mix of jazz, electronic house and pop music. You definitely want to dance to the fantastic rhythm of the pumpkin drums. At the end of each concert, audience members are treated to yummy vegetable soup made from the evening's instruments. And don't forget, not only does the f food taste great, it sounds great as well. Now that is a little bit of a funny cliché. Um, bearing in mind the fact that the instrument that you are playing with, you will be using it at the end. Alright, so we have some Q&A that we can go through at the end. Alright, so let's start with the first one. The Vienna Vegetable Orchestra uses fruit and vegetables as musical instruments. Now, is that true or false? Well, that is what the whole concert is all about, so that is true. Okay, they are going to hold concerts in Europe and Asia, and that is true as well, as we can see on the top. Um, in fact, it is going to tour Europe and Asia again. So this festival is going around from the European countries to the Asian countries, so that's true as well. Flutes are made of cucumbers and peppers stuck together, and that is false. Right, it's not make of cucumbers and peppers. The pumpkin drums will make you want to dance, and that is true as well because of the nice sound that these musical instruments make. Bear in mind that they are made from purely vegetables. All right, after each concert, the vegetables are kept and used again in the next show. While well, that is true, all of the instruments uh, that are used in the show gets cooked and at the end of the show and starting from the beginning of the new show they use new ones all right match the words in bold from the text to their meaning now i wanted to talk about the words in bold but seeing that we have the exercise to help us it actually gives us a little bit more meaning to it so i can explain it as we go on so number one um, we look at bunch when we talk about bunch what are we talking about and it is in fact D we're talking about a group of people when we talk about a bunch right number two founded when we talk about founded we actually talk about started so when something was founded it's when it was started when it first appeared all right one of a kind what does one of a kind mean and it means special or different. For example, if you have a one-of-a-kind car or one-of-a-kind musical instrument, it means that there is nothing other than that instrument on car on the planet. It is special, it is different. When we talk about sell-out, what are we talking about? And that simply means when all the tickets for an event are sold. Right. You guys are familiar with concerts here in Vietnam, so you should actually know um, sell out. Number four, upcoming. Number five, when we talk about upcoming, and we're talking about something that's happening in the near future. Right. So upcoming, if there's a musical event that's upcoming, it means that very soon it will happen to start to play. Number six, when we talk about carved, and we actually talk about shaping something and cutting it out with a material, so that's C. So a perfect example, if um, you look at the Halloween pumpkins, those are carved out with a knife or with any sharp object to make a specific image. All right, so when we talk about carved out, we're talking about something that's shaped or cutting something out of material and the Halloween pumpkin is a perfect example of that. All right, number seven, when we talk about joined, we talk about put together. So when two things are joined together, you actually fit it. So that's when we talk about joined. All right, so if we look at the examples, flutes and cucumbers and peppers 
cucumbers and peppers are joined to become a new wind instrument, which means they are fitted together to make this wind instrument happen. And number eight, when we talk about treated, we actually talk about given or provided with something special. So at the end of the concert, audience members are treated to yummy vegetable soup. They're actually given the soup, all right, or they are treated. All right, moving on to our vocabulary. We have the fill-in word that we can use to fill in the sentences to make it grammatically correct. Now we have wind, reach, full, blow, loud, and skill. These are the words that we are going to fill in um, in the gaps. And let's look at the first one. The flute is very old. is a very old wind instrument, right? It takes a lot of, and number two, skill to play. Obviously, when you play any musical instrument, you need skill. And if you don't have it, then obviously they will sound very horrible. All right, number three, players blow into the mouthpiece and fill the long tube with air. We are still talking about the blowpipe and we're still making references to it. Musical notes are made when the player moves their fingers over the holes on the tube. So you actually moving your fingers over the holes is the same concept as when you play the piano or the guitar. Um, different keys can make different sounds and that's what makes the sound so beautiful. So moving on, the flute can make a soft or loud note depending on how loud or how hard you blow it. Players with a lot of talent can reach high levels and play in professional orchestra, right? So if you do not have the skill, you can acquire it over a period of time. But as I say, playing a musical instrument can be a very daunting task. All right, so I'll put on the answers. I would have really liked you guys not to skip ahead. And I would have really liked you to first go through it with me. And you could have paused the video to play and to do it on your own first before we go through it. All right, now I will show you the answers and then we can take it from here. All right, and this is the answers for Unit 10D as I have promised. I would have liked you guys to do it first before you fast forwarded the video up until this point. But this is the answers for you guys to go through and you can just fill them in at the end when you are done. Thank you so much for listening to Unit 10D and we will progress and proceed to Unit 10E after a short while. Thank you and goodbye.